I wondered why it felt funny while I was walking. That would explain it. The cost of new shoes was a broken microphone. I was hesitant to fix this one and sacrifice something more vital. Never mind, my spirits were still high and I was now ready for the day. Oh, I miss Mr. Excited. Oh, I love a good forest. Courtney Victoria, a Nikon D750, and the Forest of Dean. I love the start of this trail as you turn this corner, you get this beautiful taster of this section of forest. We're starting off with a leading line image. We've got this pathway that bends off and disappears to the right, making you wonder where it goes. It is surrounded by beautiful green ferns either side. Notice here we've got these three heart-shaped leaves, which I'm gonna pop into the bottom left of my image as they really stand out. We're going for a vertical image so that this trail is the main subject that your eye is drawn to. Notice with the horizontal composition, there's way too much going on. All of this foliage is really dominating and that pathway just becomes completely lost. It's pretty windy, so we're just gonna wait for this wind to quieten down just a little bit for just a brief second so we can grab this shot and not have too much movement, too much blurriness in this foreground. We're in a fresh patch of forest today and I'm so excited to be here. I have walked past this section of forest a few times but for some reason never ever thought to just dive straight into these trees and have a look but that is what we are doing today. A good scout day we're gonna see what we can find composition wise. Oh my motivation and inspiration and creativity create creative juices are flowing. After that exuberant introduction, I noticed a rather photogenic cluster of trees behind me. My um, creative juices jumped straight into a wide shot to capture these wonderfully spaced out trunks, but a doubt struck me. I think there's a couple of nice images here, but why am I hesitating? Why am I getting a bit in a kerfuffle about it because in my previous forest videos I feel like I already have a couple of compositions that are very similar. Generally they're a 16 by 9 crop and it's just a group of trees with a lovely separation between each tree trunk. When it comes to my forest photography I am trying to improve and grow and I'm worried this is becoming a comfortable composition for me and I don't want to get stuck in that comfortable space. I want to keep pushing myself to find unique, different compositions and perspectives. I searched for something different, coming up with two vertical compositions instead. One using this fallen tree and this clump of ferns as foreground interest. And another eye level shot focusing on this pathway while narrowing those trees down to a select few. In the end, I didn't take either shot. Why? The light was non-existent. It was flatter than a pancake. And after all this deliberation, 
they didn't feel like they were images for today. There seemed to be an abundance of ferns of all sizes covering the floor between long grass and I wondered if I could get a second shot with them as a main element. We've gone wide angle with this shot, the bottom half of this image is just filled with these green, lush green ferns. We've got a baby fern really close to the ground in the bottom left corner. I'm going to focus stack this image, I'm going to take two images, I'm going to focus on this fern here in the foreground and then I'm going to focus on this tree in the background here that is just lining up with this line on my LCD screen grid. There is a slight wind today which is occasionally rustling these ferns in the foreground so I'm going to raise my ISO to 400 to, 400 to get a slightly faster shutter speed just to make sure there isn't a huge amount of movement there. I like the contrast in size between these two ferns in the foreground, but overall this image did not meet my vision, my expectations, as the bottom half of the image just ended up becoming a jumbled pile of green, but an idea to work on. There's stuff all over this forest floor. Lots of huge ferns, tree trunks, fallen trees, a lot of foreground subject interest. I framed up a couple of ideas taken a few test shots, a few images, but I'm kind of steamrolling through here now as there's a huge section of forest ahead in this part that I just haven't touched yet and I really want to go through and just get a feel of the whole area. The first time I hit a new spot of forest I'm not going to come away with a mass of images or portfolio shots because I have to take the time to understand what I'm looking at. I think the first time you go to any sort of location, whether it's a forest or not, is very overwhelming visually. So uh, today I'm gathering some inspiration, some ideas that I can build on next time I come here. And I find that really exciting. I know some people get really frustrated with that. And when they go to a place, they want to just grab an image instantly. They want to get those shots and not have to keep coming back and back and back. But I kind of enjoy the process, that part of photography where I almost kind of build a relationship with the location and get to know it. So when I come here, I just, I know what I'm looking at, I know what I'm looking for and I can go ahead and, and get it. It's gone very, very dark and dull, even more so than earlier, especially under the trees. I've kind of tried to escape these or this very dense area because it's just getting too dark in there. Right on the edge of this dense part I noticed that there's that little bit of light just coming through and just softly illuminating some of these trees and I quite like that contrast. Really really dark on the left hand side and then we've just got that soft soft light coming through on the right. So we've got a framing element with this tree branch kind of going from left to right, kind of curving down over the right, top right of the image. That's about it really. The amazing thing about the Forest of Dean is that you can walk a minute or two from one spot to another and the scenery around you just completely changes. Look at this space. I'm so overwhelmed by all of this. I, my eyes don't really know where to look first. It's, it's a lot to try and pull apart right now.
Just as I was getting lost in this puzzling area filled with so much texture and moss, the last of the light disappeared as dark rain clouds spread across the sky. It was a bittersweet moment, feeling as though I'd found the best spot last, but the weather wasn't allowing me enough light to explore it. I'm pretty excited to go back there sometime, really, really get stuck into that. I think it's going to be quite challenging and quite fun. But today has been a fantastic and successful scouting day. We have explored a new bit of forest. I love being in the forest. It just charges me up, it recharges me. I'm not enjoying this drizzle so much. <laughs> uh, we've got plenty of inspiration, plenty of ideas to come back and work on and to expand. And yeah, I hope you will join me next time for some forest photography. And uh, thank you so much for watching. There is just one more thing I need to do before we leave and before this rain gets pretty heavy, and that is test the shoes.